was able to do just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Listen, greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are excited. We are ecstatic. Listen, we bring you greetings from the Greater Love Baptist Church, 4439 Hacks Cross Road. I am, amen, the under-shepherd of this house, Pastor Jerry D. Taylor, along with the fragrance of this house, the beauty, the queen, Lord have mercy, the one and only, Charlena Taylor. Thank, Thank you. you. Mr. Taylor. Amen. 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 And happy anniversary. Amen. Happy anniversary. We just ain't in orange just to be in orange. Amen. We're in orange and cream because God have allowed us, amen, to be and to celebrate 17 years of pastorship here uh, in one location. Amen. On these grounds, God has been good to us. Many said we wouldn't. Some said we couldn't, but God said we could. Listen, thank you all. Thank you all for your mail-ins. Thank those of you uh, that have been sending in your tithes, your offering, your time, your talent. We appreciate you. Amen. Our services are, amen, Sunday morning, uh, 9.30, uh, intercessory prayer at 9.15, 9.30 Sunday school, amen, 10.30 a.m. morning worship. And then on Tuesday nights, we have Tuesday night teaching, explosive electricity. Electrifying, Lord, you don't want to miss it. First lady, I don't know what else to say. Listen, I'm going to spare you the detail. Our choir is coming. We've been blessed, amen, uh, to have uh, Pastor C.L. Mathis, amen, with us today. Amen. He's preaching with us. He's going to give a short excerpt of the sermon. Uh, but I want to thank you. I want to personally thank you all uh, for praying for us and for uh, giving us an opportunity to come in your homes and those that are in your place of businesses. Amen. Keep us lifted in prayer. I pray for you. You pray for us and watch God change, change things. things. In Jesus name, let's go to worship. fellowship. Amen. We thank you for the faith that we share. Thank you, we thank you for the greater love family. Yes, we thank you for Pastor and Lady Taylor. Yes, and now God as we stand behind this sacred desk to declare your holy word. Yes. Pray that you hide me behind the cross so they will not see me but the Christ that lives in me. Yes, we want to do all things to your glory and honor in Jesus name. Yes. Amen. Come on and give God a hand of praise. Hey, what a mighty God we serve. Amen. Listen, this is a day of celebration. Amen. We thank God for 17 years. Somebody shout to God be the glory for the things that he has done. Amen. To Pastor T. 
Taylor, to all the leaders of greater love, amen, to members and visitors and certainly to each of you, we thank you for being here. It's, I, I know it's preaching time and greater love, you're not suffering from any preaching because you have one of the greatest preachers, teachers, not only your pastor, but your first lady is a teacher, amen. Come on, you ought to give it up for God, amen. For the gifts that operate in this place, amen. Uh, you've chosen a wonderful theme. And I got the theme, and actually I got the word steward. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it work, amen? amen? A servant, a steward, worthy of teaching and preaching the word of God. Amen. Second Timothy chapter 4. Verse 1 and 2. You should already have verse 2 on your program. Amen. But I want to add verse 1. When you got it, say amen. amen. I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick, that is, the alive, and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Verse 2 out of the uh, New Living Translation, preach the word of God. Be prepared whether time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage your people with good teaching. All I want to say on this 17th anniversary, let me say it to Pastor and Lady Taylor, amen. but I want to talk a little bit with this man of God, amen. amen. I want to say to you all, keep up the good work. Amen. Keep up the good work. Amen. And if I could put 17 exclamation points behind it, I would simply just talk about keep up the good work. Amen. You may be seated. Uh, today is a blessed day. Uh, it's a day to be a blessing. Uh, today is a day of thanksgiving. It's a day of rejoicing. Y'all give me a few minutes. And we really cannot proceed with this message without letting Pastor and Lady Taylor know that your future looks great. Amen. That God's favor is upon you. And just continue to increase your faith. So for a few minutes, I just want to tell them, keep up. The great work. I want, I want to put great on it. Amen. Keep up the great work. Because Psalms 126 and verse 3 says, The Lord has done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. And so as we pull over today, I believe somebody at greater love can say that the tailors have done great things for us. Well, we are glad. I ought not be the only one up here saying, keep up the great work. I give kudos to the committee. 
you chose a wonderful and befitting thing. A dynamite passage of scripture for this celebratory occasion. As I said, I really wanted to just say a servant steward worthy of preaching and teaching God's word. A steward is one entrusted with the management, and I'm going to do a little teaching today, of the affairs of others. I knew some of y'all already knew that, but a steward, because some of y'all don't like the word servant because you just a kid that the slave. But Jesus is our master. Are y'all here with me? And so we're servants of the most high God. But a steward is one entrusted with the management of the affairs of others. A steward is one that is in charge of handling the property of somebody else. Now a steward must be found faithful because if not, he could be discharged from his duties. R write it down when you get time. Look at the parable of the unwise steward. A steward must use his personality, his power, and his influence to faithfully carry out the, du the duties of the owner of such property. Somebody is saying or oh, asking the question, what in the world does that have, that have to do with Pastor Taylor and greater love? But, well, first of all, let me remind you that the Greek word for steward means one over a house. Are y'all here with me? Now, now, I don't want you to get quiet. I don't want to lose you. But, but you might be asking, uh, what, what, what is that to do with the church and Pastor Taylor? Well, you need to know, first of all, that Pastor Taylor is over the whole house. <laughs> the A and Z of greater love is under his leadership. Now, don't get quiet. Because I know about leaders. I know about committees. And they are God ordained to assist the steward of the house. And they must assist. Come on. By remembering Hebrews 13 and 17. Hebrews 13 and 17 says, Obey them that have rule over you. Obey your steward. Obey your pastor and submit yourselves. Watch it now. For they watch for your souls. You, you got cameras and security stuff for your house. Alarms on your car. But, but God has given you a God man to watch over your soul. And the reason why, can I just take my time? Now I promise you I won't be 30 more minutes. But, but, but watch this. They watch over your soul. And they got to give account. See, a steward, somebody shout a steward. A steward has to give account to the owner of the property. Now, now, don't y'all get quiet. The breath that you breathe belongs to God. But the commitment that you made to Christ. 
Christ, I'm the greater love. Come on, somebody. Pastor Taylor is your spiritual advisor. That's all right. I, I see I got to work today. And you got to obey because not only must they give account, but your obedience helps the job. Yeah. To be done with joy Amen. and not grief. Amen. Because I, I know y'all may not like this. Whenever you grieve the steward, right. whenever you grieve the pastor, right. uh, watch this, children. Whenever you disobey mom and dad, yeah. whenever you move from being the employee to you want to be the employer. You find yourself in some deep water. I know y'all quiet on me. And somebody asking, Pastor Mathis, that sounds good. But is there more to it? I'm glad you asked. Because as your overseer, as your pastor, as your Employment. Yeah, yeah, As your, can I just preach it like this? Soul food chef. Yeah, yeah. As your watchman. Yeah. As the angel of the house. Yeah. As the anointed, appointed, awesome leader of greater love. Come on, somebody. Yeah. He has a charge from God. Yeah. And Paul said in Acts 20, verse 28, not only take heed unto the flock, but he got to watch himself because the Holy Ghost has given him a flock. Watch this now. And made him the overseer. Now watch this. I know y'all already know the role of the poor man, the pastor, the steward. Watch this now. He should feed the church of God. Are y'all here with me? When you read the rest of that, it'll say which Christ or he has purchased with his own blood. Now, now the church does not belong to Pastor Taylor. The church belongs to Jesus Christ. Are y'all here with me? But Pastor Taylor, I told y'all I would talk to him today, all right? Y'all just listening, all right? Pastor Taylor is accountable to God and must execute and administrate according to God's will and God's word. Are y'all here with me? I say he must execute and administrate according to the will and the word of God. And I know sometimes God give him something to say that he really don't want to say. Something to do that he may not want to do. But remember the song says a charge to keep our head. And a God to glorify. You, you got to appreciate it. You got to appreciate it. Greater love in time like these that you got a preaching pastor. You got to appreciate it. You got a teaching pastor. Pastor that loves you because we live in a day and time. Y'all getting quiet on me now. Well, what's something? are more interested in numbers and buses and square footage than the soul of a person sitting in the people. Oh, yeah, um, let me get at you. And so sometimes that nugget of the package caused some of us to lose our way. But I came by uh, to encourage Pastor Taylor. To just keep up the great work. Because here is the progressive piece of this whole package. You are an encourager to the people. So just keep on teaching good. Just keep on telling them about the love of God. And as my mama used to say, you're going to get it right one day because I'm not going to give up on you. So Pastor Taylor on the way to my seat, can I tell you, keep on preaching the word of God. Keep on telling men, women, boys and girls uh, that the wages of 
sin is death, uh, but the gift of God uh, is eternal life. Uh, Sister Taylor, uh, you know what I'm getting ready to say. Uh, stand by your man uh, through the storm and the rain. Uh, stand by your man uh, when he's feeling weak uh, and when he's feeling strong. Uh, and I want to tell you uh, that what God uh, has for you. I'll go down and die so man can have another chance. Watch him. He said, greater love have no man in this that a man would lay down his life for his friends. He said, no man take my life. I'm laying it down. I got power. Take it up again. You know the story. Thank y'all. Pastor, you're always a blessing. Yes, you
pastor is always a blessing. Amen. Thank you all so much. Amen. God is good. Yeah. Thank you all. It's probably the only time when you see me wear these orange shoes. Oh, baby. It's going to be for the first day. Able. How many believe in tonight? 